So this is a cell. What is the origin of life? How do you get a cell like this? What is the origin of something like this? This is an amazing machine. A cell is an amazing machine. It's not just a blob of protoplasm. Every day, it gets harder to have the origin of life, to come up with a scenario because the origin of life becomes more and more complex every day. A cell is a factory. It has the lipid bilayer, which is extremely selective to let certain things in and not other things. It has all of this substructure in here, these little areas where, 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 where energy is, is, is made in here. It has these microtubules which can form so you can move matter from point A to point B. If you go to a factory, what you see is you see these overhead hanging machines that are moving materials from point A to point B. In, 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 in these systems, and the way they do this is, is they build these racks, but the same thing happens in a cell. You get these microtubules to move material from point A to point B, and then as soon as the material is done moving, the microtubule breaks down and then assembles some other place. You say, well, why doesn't it leave it there? Because then the cell would become too rigid. So it just rebuilds it. It's just amazing factory what's happening in a cell. This is what we have to make. If we want to have origin of life, you got to start here. You don't start here. You start with a single cell. Just build a single cell. That's what we have to do in origin of life. Nobody has ever done this. If you've been taught that simple forms of life have been made, that is a lie that you are believing. Somebody told you a lie. That has never been done. Next slide. 